Hi, my name is Dr. Joe Bart. I'm an emergency medicine physician and EMS medical director at Erie County Medical Center in Buffalo, New York. This presentation will be a demonstration and learning tool about suspected spinal injury. The State Emergency Medical Advisory Committee, together with the Bureau of EMS, has released a new spinal injury protocol. This protocol will focus heavily on the evaluation of the cervical spine and when to use a cervical collar. The backboard will no longer be mandatory for use on all trauma patients. Additionally, the standing takedown will no longer be used. Much of the reason why we use the backboard to immobilize is the real perception that we needed to immobilize the spine. As we will demonstrate, spinal motion restriction can be accomplished without the use of the long spine board. Next, we're going to head out to the State Preparedness Training Center in Arishney, New York. Medic 2 on location. Copy that. Time on scene 0937. Woman in the dark sweater here, so her arm is complaining about and okay. also a cut on her eye. Is she all right? She is okay here in this vehicle. Hi, ma'am. Were you in this vehicle here? Yes, I Okay. Was. I'm going to have you hold your head straight for me, okay? Okay. Carlos is going to come behind you. He's just going to make sure that your, your neck doesn't What's turn, okay? Name? My name is Barbara. All right. Are you by yourself in that vehicle? Yes, I All right. Is. And is anything hurting you? Just my wrist. Just your wrist? Which one? My left one. Your here. left one? Okay. I'm going to touch the back of your neck. I want to make sure there's nothing wrong with your neck or your back, okay? Okay. When I touch the back of your neck, in this spot, can you feel that? I can feel it, okay. but it doesn't There's hurt. no pain there? No. I'm going to go all the way down your back. Okay. Any pain there? No. Okay. Nothing there? No. Very no. good. Okay. I did have my seatbelt on. Good. I'm going to check your arms now, okay? Okay. I know that you're having some pain in that left wrist, so can you squeeze my fingers real yes. tight? And do you have any numbness or tingling in your hands or your feet? No. No? no okay. Not. You can stop holding stabilization here. Do you think you're going to want to go to the hospital and get this checked out? Or? Yes. Okay. We'll get you splinted up, but if we give you a hand, can you walk to the ambulance with us? Sure. Very good. Right, Barbara, I'm going to help you walk over to the ambulance. So we come over there, just be careful. In this scenario, we want to show the use of the long spine board as a tool. Some of you may be asking yourself at this point, if I'm not supposed to be placing patients on the long backboard for purpose of immobilization, then what could I use it for? I would use the example that the prone unconscious motorcycle patient lying in a ditch is probably best extricated from that ditch using a rigid device. And I think the long spine board would probably accomplish that for us. In this particular scenario, you'll notice that the responding EMTs are going to assess a conscious and alert patient complaining of spine pain, particularly in the cervical spine. In which scenario one, that person will be appropriately dealt with, with a rigid cervical collar, and then facilitated via assistance from the vehicle. In the second scenario where that patient is not as ambulatory or complaining of some lower extremity pain, the facilitation of extrication using the backboard as a tool could help you. How are you doing, ma'am? I'm going to have you keep your head straight, okay? Oh, jeez. All right. Is anything hurting right. you? Right. Uh, my neck. Okay. I, right. I don't know what happened. Ma'am, what's your name? Don't move ahead. Rose. All right, I'm going to take your seatbelt off for you. Okay. I'm going to hold your head straight with my hands, okay? Okay. Nothing hurts there where I'm touching you? No. Good. You feel any pain anywhere? Uh, yeah, in my mm -hmm. neck. In your neck? Okay. Yeah. All right, Rose, my name is Carl, so I'm just going to, you might feel some pain. Yeah. That, I'm coming down. You feel pain right there? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna work it. I'm gonna work my fingers down. You let me know if that hurts any more or any less. Uh, yeah, that that hurts more. Okay. Okay. All right. There's and what a, about there? Uh, no. Okay. There's a collar right on there. Okay. So I'm gonna check your back here real quick. Okay. All right. You feel any pain down here in your lower back? No. As I'm coming down? No. All right. Rose, I'm gonna put a put a piece of plastic. It's, it's a collar right around your neck. Okay. okay it's gonna keep. It's gonna. Keep, Okay. Okay. You feel like you can stand up? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna help you out. Okay. Okay. Switch just swing your legs over. Keep your neck as straight as possible. Yep, absolutely. Good. Good. Okay. Just sit right there just for now. Okay. I'm going to set the stretcher up for you. I'm going to bring it down and have you sit right on the stretcher. All right, Rose? All right. All right, Rose, can you tell me what day it is? Thursday. All right, awesome. Yeah. 
Right behind you, Carlos. Rose, you taking any medications for anything? I'm no. going to help you up now. Okay. Are you allergic to any medications? No. Do you have any medical history at all? No. All right. You don't have any se any history of seizures or anything like that? No, nothing. All right. Backing up. Back Just up. sit down. It sits all right. Down. Good. Good. We're going to put your head to this side here. I'm going to help you with your legs coming up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Good. Okay. Just center back. yourself. Okay. Can you center yourself just a little bit? Yeah. All right, good. All right, yeah, that's better. All right, Rose, we're gonna, yeah. Rose, we're gonna put some straps on you. Okay. All right, it's just gonna keep you on the stretcher itself, okay? Okay. Come on, I'm gonna have you keep your head straight, okay? Okay. I'm gonna put this right here. Get the car right behind you. Anything right. hurting you? Uh, my neck. I don't know what happened. Listen, I'm going to take your seatbelt off of you right now. Okay. Okay, so the only way I can get this door open, okay? Okay. Just move your arm for me. Good. Thank you. All right, Rose, you feeling any pain right now? Any place? Yeah, my my neck. Your neck? Okay, and just your neck? My knee. And your knee. Okay. Yeah. Any place else? No, I think that's it. All right. What I want you to do, Rose, is I want you to take your hands off the steering wheel. Wiggle your fingers for me. All right, good. Pulse is present. Close your eyes. What what finger am I touching? Thumb. What finger am I touching? My thumb. Okay. Wiggle your toes for me. All right. Which toe am I touching? Uh, my big toe. Okay. Which toe am I touching? My big toe. All right. Check for pulses. Pulse is present. All right. All right, Rose. I'm gonna come. Right behind you on your neck, I want okay. you to tell me when it starts hurting, okay? Yeah, that, that, that does That hurts there. right there? Yeah. Okay. How about here? Yeah. Okay, is it getting better or worse as I go down? Worse. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. All right, I see that, okay. All right. What about here? Yeah, that hurts. Okay. What about here? I'm coming off of your neck onto your back now. Mm. No. Okay, you have no pain there? No. Good, good, okay. that's excellent. Okay. I just want to lean it forward just a little bit. Rose, I just got to get to your back. Okay. All right. Are you feeling any pain here? No. Okay. What about here? No. Okay. Good. All right. We're done with that. Now let's take a look at your ah. knee. It, that hurts right there when I, when yeah. I touch it only? Yeah. Can you move your leg at all? Mm, not really. No. You're not going to be able to it step out of the vehicle? No, no. It really all right. hurts. What about this knee? That one's okay. All right. And you had your seatbelt on, am I correct? Yeah. Obviously, because I just took it off. Yeah. All right, good. There's a good collar on the back. All right. All right, Rose, we're going to put a collar on you. Okay. I know this is uncomfortable. Yeah. All right, but it's going to help you out a, a little bit, all right? Okay. All right. All right, it's midline. I'm going to let go. I just want you to keep your head straight, though, even with that collar, all right? Okay. Slider out. Mm-hmm. Better feet first. Oh, we'll get about head first. Let's bring it down one more notch here. Thanks. I'll go around. Okay. Hey, Rose. Yes, she is, ma'am. Since this patient has knee pain, she is not able to get out of the vehicle by herself. We can use the long spine board as a tool to help extricate her from the vehicle. By placing it under her and with controlled movements, assist her to turn and lay down on the backboard. Instead of placing her on the backboard with the blocks, straps, and tape, use the spine board to slide her onto the padded stretcher. Then remove the spine board. Ready? Does it feel better with that knee bent? Yeah. Okay. okay, good. I'll come around if you got her. Is that what is that what's hurting you right now? Is your knee right now? Yeah. Okay. All right. We're gonna get you out of here. We're gonna go ahead and put something on your knee to keep it from moving. Okay. Okay. Ready on my count? Yeah. One, two, three. Uh, uh, all right. We're gonna go all the way up. On my count. Ready? One, two, three. Uh, okay. That's the worst of it. We're done. Okay. Like that. All right? Yeah. We're going to bring you up. Okay. Bring you up a little bit. Right. Just like that, okay? Okay, yeah. That's better. Add underneath that knee then. Yep. Man, what happened? He's in a lot of pain. I don't know. I, I was upstairs. I saw him. All of a sudden, I saw him falling. Oh, Carlos, 
you want to you want to grab his head for me? He was almost at the whole top. Almost to the top? Yeah. Right. I just oh lost God. my balance, I guess. I don't know what happened so fast. He's, he's in a lot of pain. Uh, okay. Oh. Carlos here is going to grab your head, okay? All right. My name's Kyle. We're paramedics. Okay. How, you were on the very, very top, huh? Yeah. Okay. Are you having any pain anywhere? Yeah. Well, uh, where are you having pain? My, my hip is really, really hurt. Which hip? Mm -hmm. uh, left side. The left side? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to check you out over here. Any okay. pain around here? No. No? no. I'm not going to touch that hip. Okay. How about your right hip? No, that's all right. This leg? Okay there. How about down here? All right, that's all right. Okay, just the hip? Yeah. Hurts, okay. Right there. All right. Did you lose consciousness? I, I don't think so. You don't think no. so? You think you remember What's everything? Your name, yeah. sir? My name's Frank. Frank? Yeah. Can we roll? Sir, I'm going to try and straighten this hip out a little bit, okay? It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Okay, right, that's, right, it. That's, that's it. That's it. That's the end of it. That's, that's the worst. I'm going to roll him. Do you want me to do anything? Okay. What do you want me to do? No, we're all set, ma'am. I'm just going to actually take your spot here. We're going to roll you onto your good hip, okay? Okay. And I'm going to check out your back. I want to make sure there's no pain there, all right? Yes, sir. On Carlos. My count, all right? You ready? I'll just grab this yeah. arm here. Okay, ready? Yep. One, two, three. All right, I'm looking. Do okay. you see anything? I don't see anything either. Can you feel me touching you right here on the back of the neck? Yes, I can. Is there pain there? No. Okay, I'm going to go all the way down your back. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Just answer yes or no. All right. Any pain here? No. Any pain here? No. All the way down, no pain? No. It's all right. Okay, sir. Two, three. Okay. <laughs> all right. Can you hold this head? I'll grab the... Did you grab the jump back? Yeah. Actually, I'll, I'll hold, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You got it. Since this patient fell off a tall ladder and likely has a distracting hip injury, a cervical collar was placed on him. Several devices, such as this collapsing canvas stretcher, can replace the traditional use of the long spine board. And did you just lose your balance up there or did you pass out? I don't know, I think I just lost my balance. Okay. This is gonna come, it's gonna be uncomfortable, right. okay? Okay. Frank like, three. Okay. Good. That's good. That's perfect. Right. One, two, three. Okay. That's the worst of it, right, brother? Okay. Okay. Want to come my way and then up to you? <laughs> One, two, three. Frank, you okay? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm all right. Your mm -hmm. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Go okay. Ahead. You can let go of the head there. <coughs> In this scenario, we demonstrated the patient who was the victim of a fall. Because the fall was greater than the victim's height, a cervical collar was placed per the new protocol. In this particular situation, he was complaining of left-sided hip pain with a deformity. We were not going to be able to walk this patient to the ambulance, so they elected to use a top deck. For our next and last scenario, we're going to transition to the emergency department where we're going to have an interaction about patient transfer directly in the emergency department with their staff at Erie County Medical Center at Buffalo, New York. How's your pain? Okay, how's the breathing? I still can't get a full breath. Okay, they're here to take you to the trauma center now, okay? Um, we have a 30-year-old male. He was a fall off of a ladder. He has a left hemoneumothorax with a chest tube. Um, his x-ray was negative as far as C-spine, but he still had okay. some C-spine tenderness, so we got the collar on. Right, sure. Okay. Do you have the backboard and tape with you? We don't. Uh, can I ask what it would be for? Um, they just wanted him immobilized for transfer to the trauma center. Yeah. Uh, New York State actually just changed the protocol on spinal mobilization, and it virtually eliminates the use of backboards and interfacility transports, so we didn't even bring it in. Okay, that's just what our doctor recommended. So. Right. I mean, given that a spine board is an extrication tool and he's already in the hospital and, and on a, uh, a bed, I think it would be better and more comfortable if we just move him over, keep him the spine in line. Okay. If you just want to talk to him, that was just a yeah, recommendation yeah, no problem. for me. What's going on? Uh, we were just talking about the new New York State protocol for spinal mobilization. Our state EMS committee has actually developed new protocols on transferring patients. We all know it's definitely uncomfortable. We know that it's actually harmful for the patient. So if we could just utilize a slide board and uh, maintain spinal motion restriction and get them over to the university hospital. That makes sense. We don't keep people on a backboard in the emergency department, so we don't put them back on a backboard just to put them in an ambulance. Sure. All right. Okay, I'll get the slide board to get him ready. Great. I'll grab the head, drop down the structure net. Yeah. 
have the patient's bed approximately one inch higher than the ambulance stretcher. This will allow for easier and more controlled movements. Okay, so he's gonna take your neck, we'll roll you up on your side, you stay nice and still and we'll do all the work, okay? okay. You got the head, Doc? Mm -hmm. Ready to roll? You want to put your arms right across your belly there? And one, two, three. You do not need to completely roll the patient. Just enough to get the edge of the slide board underneath him. Everyone ready? Yep. One, two, three. Okay. We should be able to pull that out. Yep. Great. Are you comfortable like that, sir? Yes. Okay. Many of these demonstrations were based on everyday scenarios. A few common questions are, will we remove the backboard entirely? No. We will still continue to teach the skill, and under certain circumstances, it still may be appropriate. Another possible question is, are there certain patients that should always be transported on a backboard? Again, the answer is no. It is not based on how sick your patient is. Remember, the backboard is an extrication tool. And lastly, if a patient were to be placed on a backboard, can we remove them? By using this protocol, you may remove that patient if you determine that spinal motion restriction was not needed. We hope you have found this presentation to be helpful in understanding the new protocol. Have a great day and be safe. For more information and to download protocol and learning resources, please check out the New York State Bureau of EMS website.